Hey Yankees fans, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? The realest Yankees YouTube on the planet. Here's why I think the Yankees are in trouble. If you are easily offended, just close this video. Now let's get to it. The Yankees are in danger of falling behind, let's say, five games back from the Red Sox. I say this because... The trade deadline is about what, like in uh, five weeks or something like that, or whatever. If the Yankees can pull a trade, it'll be sooner. But if you ask me if the Yankees wait for that long, they might fall back five games or more behind the Red Sox. As we all know, CeCe Sabathia hasn't been, let's say, CeCe Sabathia. He has been, if you ask me, as worse as Sonny Gray in recent starts. He has been worse than Domingo Herman in recent starts. Yes, Domingo Herman improved yesterday but really if we put out pictures to pitch it's to win ball games it's to keep your team in the ball game sure he kept the team in the game but the yankees fell back what five runs four runs or whatever it's just one of those games where the yankees continue to give wins to the opposing teams and i'm talking about giving up runs early it's like you suck out the energy out of the team once these pitchers on the yankees give up these runs early and i'm just not talking about pitchers in general i'm talking about the defense etc the yankees when they are bad they are really bad so when you have that combination of bad defense and pitching i mean really you got to scratch your heads and say hey the yankees defense hasn't been that great this season to make it worse the yankees pitching unless your name isn't luis severino has been a question mark we don't know what we're going to get from tanaka tanaka his last start he was great, but then he has instances where he just flops and he gives up a whole bunch of home runs, runs, etc. Then you got Sonny Gray, the other question mark. I'm not even going to talk about him. Then you have a pitcher that's going up there in age, not performing. I mean, how longer can CC Sabathia not perform until really something is done about CC Sabathia? If he doesn't perform today versus the Houston Astros, then what I'm saying now has a good chance to happen. This can't continue to happen, folks. The Yankees need to have solid pitching. They need to give the Yankees a chance to win ball games. Sure, the Yankees' offense is great, but when you have pitchers just getting destroyed out there, being inconsistent, the Red Sox are another 100-win team. The Yankees just might fall back and become a wild-card team until they make these trades for starting pitching this is why i said get two pitchers even if one isn't an ace just give us a pitcher that's going to be consistent and give the yankees innings and give the yankees a chance to win ball games so to be 100 percent honest as of now i don't see the yankees staying in the race let's say for first place with the red sox as of now pay attention to that word as of now i don't see the yankees staying in the race for first place with the Red Sox with the starting pitching that they have. They had the perfect opportunity to experiment with their form, let's say with a Sheffield, let's say with another player that's just making the ranks in the minor leagues. So let's say Jordan Montgomery comes back. He's going to be one of the all men out for the simple fact that the Yankees, their rotation cannot sustain, let's say, four question marks. I'm not saying Jordan Montgomery is going to be a question mark, but I'm talking about Sonny Gray, CeCe Zabatha, etc. I mean, there's going to have to be two pitchers that the Yankees subtract from this rotation if they are serious about being World Series contenders. The, this rotation, as of now, cannot maintain going up against, let's say, a team like the Astros, a team like the Red Sox, etc. come playoff time. They're just going to get destroyed. The inconsistency is just out of this world. Like I said, CC Sabathia is going up in age. In my opinion, if he has another bad game, the Yankees should just put him temporarily on the DL or whatever, just make up an excuse, call up a pitcher from the minor leagues, have that player fill in. I mean, it can't be that much worse. Get a young arm in there. That's the only way the Yankees are going to experiment. They, they have a love fascination with Domingo Herman. I guess they love Domingo Herman. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, it makes completely zero sense to me. Domingo Herman is a temporary solution. They keep experimenting with him and not 
other pitchers in their farm system when they have the chance. When Jordan Montgomery comes back, they don't have the chance. This is what I don't get. He's temporary. He's not permanent. Unless he's permanent in your rotation, then I don't understand. But he's not. He's temporary. So that right there just makes me scratch my head and say, what are the Yankees doing? Experiment early in the season. Who knows? You might strike gold. Who knows? You might not have to give up that many prospects come trade deadline. Or maybe before because, like I said, the Yankees rotation is so inconsistent that the Yankees might need to make a trade before the trade deadline. In my opinion, they should they should make these pitching moves before the deadline. They're not going to maintain staying in the race with another 100 win team. Period. The Yank the Red Sox just got Dustin Pedroia back, another pesky, annoying little hitter that they have, and they're just going to get runners on base. They're just going to be a pesky team again, and they might just bury the Yankees five games. Who knows? This is why you need pitching. Some Yankees fans at the stadium are busy. Wanting to be enemies with Justin Verlander so he could turn around and just dominate the Yankees consistently. And it's going to come back to bite us come playoff time. I mean, really? If anything, they should be booing the fact that we didn't get Justin Verlander. And yes, the typical excuse is, oh, the salary cap. No, if the Yankees wanted Verlander, they could have got him. They would have made space to get him. But they chose to get Sonny Gray. So this is where the Yankees messed up. This is where they're at. The question mark that has been raised all offseason long and all season long. They need pitching. Are they going to pull the trigger soon? I hope they do. I hope they do. Man, the Red Sox, like I said, I'm not a Red Sox fan. People keep saying, oh, you're one of those Dominican Red Sox fans. No, I hate the Red Sox. I'm just being realistic. If you give the Red Sox a chance to add games on you in the division, they're going to do it because they have the team to do so. So, Yankee fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Trust me, your opinions count. Should the Yankees pull the trigger with starting rotation way before the deadline? Leave your comments in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from LYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you on.